guys, so we are going to learn about bullets in Microsoft Word today and uh, it's actually like the easiest thing ever so <laughs> point and click point and click okay but with a couple more options so have a look I have a document here with uh, it's called bulleted lists and I have the top 10 most evil villains from various movies and most of them I know um, one or two I'm not too sure of uh, like who the heck is Annie Wilkes Maybe I should go watch Misery, although, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, moving on. How do we do bullets? Super easy, super easy. So I'm in my home tab at the moment. I'm going to make this list over here into a bulleted list. And that's what bullets are for. We use them to list items, okay? So like if you're following a recipe and you have a list of ingredients or things like that, or uh, steps from one to 10, we have a list like that. And that's what bulleted lists help us to create. So I'm going to click and select all of my text. Okay, that's the first thing. Click and select all the text that I want to make into a bulleted list and go up to paragraph. There is my bullets icon. The first thing we're gonna do is just the easiest thing and there it is there, just click on the bullet icon. Click, done, there I have a list. Voila, magic. Now, scroll down to page two. The next page, here we go. I'm gonna select this list over here. Okay, so it's the same list as before. I've just created it so we can do some more options. So instead of just making it into a standard bulleted list, I'm now going to go next to my bullet icon, this little drop down arrow there, and I'm gonna click and I'm gonna choose. Okay, so here I can see I have a bullet library. So these are like the most recently used bullets that I've used over here. Um, well, there's the most recently two over there and here's a whole bunch I've used in the past so I could just select one of those for example the, um, the little tick box click on the tick box done so there's a custom bullet over there but let's say you want more options because we always want more so I'm going to click select this I'm on the next page sorry I hope you noticed I scroll down next page okay more options here we go so I'm going to click again on my drop down arrow and I'm going to go right down here to the bottom where it says define new bullet define a new bullet cool so let's see what we have when I click on define new bullet we've got symbol picture and font three different options here so let's go with the first one see what it does we have symbols so I'm click on symbol symbol will take you to a font that has symbols in it in fact a lot of fonts have got symbols built into them so this one's called wingdings and you can see that there are all kinds of wingdings here very very cool one like there's the cool little smiley emoji face yay and there's some fingers hopefully not the bad ones okay good they're all good <laughs> then we're gonna move on so let's say what would represent a bad guy oh yes skull and crossbones that'd be a bad guy now when you click on a bullet or okay, on a symbol like we have now you will notice that it also has what's called a character code so sometimes in exams you might be asked to put insert a particular symbol and it'll have a character code so instead of you trying to search for it you just type in the character code so it'll be given to you like character code 334 and you type in 334 and it'll find that character for you okay so just so you know that's what the character code is it's a special code that represents that symbol right so I've got skull and crossbones for the bad guys cool I'm so happy I found that click OK check it out all the bad guys skull and crossbones so there you go the other one okay I'm gonna go back now what if I wanted to change this so what if I wanted to change like I'm like oh no that's too scary I don't like this so watch I'm gonna click on my bullets okay I didn't click over here click on the bullet itself so you can see it selected all of them okay and you can right click and you can define a new bullet from there but I'll just go back to our arrows because that's where we are more options define new bullets okay We've looked at symbol. So what does picture do? Well, it's a picture. That's all that it does. So you can actually use a picture as a bullet. All right. So let's do, um, I'm going to do a standard internet web search. So what would represent a bad guy? Um, angry face. I don't know. Because they're always, they always look angry, don't they? Angry faces. Let's have a look and see what comes up. Angry face, angry face. Ang oh, yes. Oh, I like this one. Angry face. That's going to be my bullet. So insert downloads it check it out and now I have a picture an image as a bullet so that was another option as well so there you can see we've already used two different options to make our bullets so go ahead and experiment a little bit with the document that I've given you just changing the bullets and see what it does